What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993 for episode number 166 of WWE Turn Alert, as we are discussing a face turn. Now, well, one I'm going to say is going to be a face turn, but not a hard, hard, hard face turn. This one was a tough pill for me to swallow in determining is this person really a face, or is she just labeled as the face? of this feud. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see how this all pans out. But this one, I think it's official to say it. Sasha Banks is the baby face of this feud with her and Bailey, as the feud is finally happening. Which, of course, next Friday on SmackDown, we're getting the first match of this new feud between these two longtime best friends and longtime rivals as well. So obviously the story goes as we all know. Bailey has just turned on Sasha Banks, the SmackDown after payback in their rematch for the women's tag titles. And obviously Bailey's little story was that Sasha just used her all this time, she believes, but Bailey used Sasha as well to do what she did, you know, to do that. And she said when the time came that, you know, when they had all the gold, then they lost everything but one title. And Bailey had that. Obviously, she knew she had to make take the first strike before Sasha got to it. Sasha, though, of course, got beaten down by Bailey and you know just viciously attacked. Bailey went to whole different lengths, complete psycho on now her former best friend. And now Sasha Banks was ripping the neck brace off and saying she's coming after Bailey and her SmackDown Women's title next week on um, the first night of the 2020 uh, draft. Uh, where, of course, some superstars will be moving around brands. Obviously, at this point, Sasha Banks and Bayley are staying on SmackDown for now. Um, so, here's my thoughts, of course, obviously, as how Sasha obviously has been made the babyface of this. Again, as I probably said in my review, I'm not sure how I feel about Sasha being the babyface. I mean, it kind of makes sense in some ways, because... They basically, again, the thing that makes it tough to determine Sasha an actual babyface, besides labeling her as the babyface dispute with her and Bailey, is because they can't veer away from Sasha's character. I mean, again, the story writes itself with how, like, you know, when Sasha, you know, is, you know, putting everything aside for the championship, it's just business. It's just business. Bailey, though, when she hit a rut and whatnot, she just went complete psycho. And it was just desperate. Like, again, like it, it all goes back to hell in a cell last year. Whenever Bailey had lost the title to Charlotte, and basically she just had a meltdown and just went completely ballistic, obviously. So, for Sasha, it's always been business. Bailey has had to go to different lengths to, you know, get to where she is today. But the problem is, again, Sasha Banks is at her best when she is the heel boss. You know, when she has, like, that, you know, vicious side of, like, you know, she cares about no way but herself. She has no friends when it comes to championships and whatnot. It's like, you know, that's all on the side. But to her, it's all business. They gotta kind of, like, stick with that and make her more of just, like, a badass baby face, pretty much. You know what I mean? Like, one that's not, like, that, you know, you're supposed to be cheering for, to get the right reactions for, but not one that's gonna be, like, you know, like a people pleaser, like a purebred, you know, sympathetic baby face. Like, that's not the role Sasha Banks needs to play in, in this feud. Because if I had it my way, once this feud with her and Bailey ends... Sasha should go back to just being a heel and put her and Bailey on separate brands. Well, probably Bailey goes to, would go to Raw eventually and Sasha would stay on SmackDown because at, at some point Sasha's going to come out as the winner of this feud, um, which could be in the main event of next year's WrestleMania for all we know. But as I said, like, you got to be careful with this. Because again, Sasha Banks is not meant to be a white knight purebred baby fan. It's like someone that, like, you know, all the kids are going to want, you know, loved. One that's just going to show all her sympathy and, you know, just her gratitude toward the fans. And, what, again, that's not Sasha. I get in the promo she cuts that even though, you know, she does, you know, always want to be on top. She has, no one can take away her spotlight. 
you know, she still has a heart as well, and obviously, you know, her friendship with Bailey did mean something. But at some point, you gotta tell, be honest, the truth, you know, Sasha Banks in reality would be would do the same thing. Bailey is right. Sasha would have fired the first shot if Bailey didn't fire the first shot. So again, this is probably just gonna be. I'm hoping just gonna be for the feud with Sasha and Bailey of Sasha being the baby face and of course Bailey being the heel. Like I said though, you don't want to take away Sasha's mojo. Make her a baby face. Just make her, you know, just being like you know like a badass baby face, pretty much. One people that's getting the right reaction, people to cheer for her, but not one who's gonna be like you know a typical you know purebred baby face like you know oh I love you guys and this is that like no 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 that's that's not Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks just needs to be a badass. That's what she needs to be. And um, hopefully this will lead to plenty of star studding matches, hell in a cell probably. Maybe an I Quit match, maybe, or some type of big stipulation match again. I don't know if they'll ever, if they're going to be able to top off their match at Takeover Brooklyn. But these two, whenever they get the opportunity to, especially on pay per view, they haven't had a one on one match on pay per view yet on the main roster. But these two definitely know how to, you know, tell an excellent story and put on a classic of a championship match. So I'm intrigued to see where it goes. But like I said again, Be careful with this one. Again, don't make Sasha Banks a white knight purebred babyface. Just keep her character for sure. Um, So yeah, so that is my thoughts on Sasha Banks being a babyface pretty much. Just do a Bailey. What are your thoughts on Sasha Banks being a babyface? Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Slap a like on the video. Subscribe or comment on my channel. And follow me on Twitter at DemandAirBarney3. And as always, guys, please stay tuned for more. WWE Turn Alert.